Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. I don't care what society thinks. They're nothing anyway. They're no better than me. Out there, you just have to fit into a pattern that somebody's already laid out for you. The life we live, you have to set your own patterns, your own ideals. You have to handle the whole job yourself. yourself is a lot easier said than done trust me I know I have struggled with being myself pretty much my whole life uh, partly because I didn't really know who myself was and I'm still to this day trying to figure all that out but uh, I'm sure a lot more people can relate to that um, as you grow up it's all about trying to fit in trying to be accepted, um, trying not to be judged or made fun of for being different in any kind of way. And it's constantly you swimming upstream. If what you are doing on the outside is not really what reflects what's going on in the inside. And you know, society makes it difficult, but also suggests to you that you need to play a certain role and you know honestly when you're at school when you're at work when you're at home when you're with your friends different situations bring out different versions of ourselves we start to play different roles um, there's a certain way to act there's a time and place for everything but I think one of the truest goals that we could all strive for is to completely be ourselves um, as much as possible in each and every situation no matter where we are and who we are with so it's just not easy though it's very difficult for a lot of people and some people it's easier it's it just comes natural um, because there's bars and blockades in front of everybody when you're trying to be comfortable inside your own skin it's really just anxiety built from what will other people think um, will I not fit in and how people will judge and will they accept me it's it's a lot of that at least for me and this is really the only perspective that I can speak from but um, you know having different interests in so many different things it, it can find yourself kind of tearing and pulling back and forth between different different parts of yourself uh, that all want attention and equal attention and uh, some of your interests and some of uh, your habits or your personality traits get more spotlight than others and where among all of this controlled chaos is the true identity that that is you like what is you who is you um, it, it just seems like in a lot of ways society um, wants us all to be the same but then again promotes like individuality you know be special be original be yourself I mean it's it's a message that's almost cliche at this moment but if you stop and think about what it really truly means to be yourself it's different for everyone and everybody has uh, their struggles with allowing themselves to do that I know that I try to listen to my gut I try to listen to my intuition uh, other people might call it you know listening to their heart uh, just going with their you know gut reaction gut feeling and um, I try to just be as calm and relaxed and as comfortable with everything that I do, um, with everything that I say and think and the way that I act around uh, so many different people. I'm sure that you guys can relate. 
it's uh, it's just difficult because you know that you don't always connect and uh, fit in with everybody if you just are a certain way. And I think that's the difficulty with being yourself is you have to be okay with knowing that some people aren't going to like it and some people are not going to accept you and 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 you have to you have to be okay with that and there's no way that you can be yourself and make everyone happy that is a battle that you are not going to (laughs) win and that's a battle that i won't win it's just not going to work uh when you decide to be yourself there are going to be people that cheer for you and there are going to be people that boo at you and it's just what comes with uh, making that kind of choice. And, it's, and it is a choice because I think that every day, every situation, we are choosing who we want to be. Um, and we are telling ourselves a story that we can believe in and convince ourselves in each and every situation. But one of the most important parts of that is to make sure that the story that you're telling yourself is your own. Uh, That you're not compiling a story that's based off of others' opinions and thoughts about you. Um, Don't tell yourself that you're you're stupid because other people have told you that you're stupid. Then they are making your story. And that's the power that you can't allow yourself to give up. You can't give up your identity to other people. And you can't let other people determine how good of a person you are, how, how great you are at certain things. You can't give them permission to determine your worth and how you perceive your own worth. And, and it's just going to be an endless cycle of listening and and relying on other people to give you permission to be who they want you to be. Instead, you need to give yourself permission to be who you want to be and who you think you are. Because that's like the crossroads that we all come to at some point in life is this road on one side that's telling you this is who you should be and on the right side there's this row that says the person that you want to be and and sometimes they are the same road but for most of us i mean i really honestly believe that we don't always have situations and people around us that encourage us to be independent with our thoughts and our feelings um we have you know, upbringings that are very determined from the start. We have uh, ways of acting uh, that we are constantly being told that's how you should be. Don't even consider to act another way. Like this is how you should act because you are this or you are that. And that's where it's just very hard for me to accept that because I see now more than ever because we are so connected and through the web and social media you can see the the lives that people portray and the lives that people live if you have seen people on social media that you are close with and you see how they put on this very highlight spotlight type lifestyle where everything is great but you know them personally and you know that they're not that happy and, and I think that's just like the pressure that comes with living in the times that we live in now is that we are constantly connected and being influenced by not only people that we are physically around and been around, whether it's family and friends or just your area um, or where you live at, your environment and setting, but also online now. You have people from all over the world, people that you'll never meet influencing you and telling you who you should be and how you should act and what's cool and what's not cool and what's trending and what's not and and then you have numbers near it so you can see that oh not so many people are doing this maybe I shouldn't do it no like that's just the dangerous tightrope that we balance on when we 
interact online is that we need to establish who we are uh, before we allow all this influence to impact us and, and to change who we become because we are so pressured by seeing and comparing our own lives and what we do and what we enjoy to what the majority of people supposedly enjoy um, and how they act and what they wear and what they listen to and what they play and what they do. It's like you can like things and do things that are not popular. You can do things that not many people are doing and that's okay. As long as it's not harming anybody, it's not harming yourself and you're happy doing it, then you need to find in, uh, the strength and the courage to be able to enjoy that without fear of um, you know, abandonment and just fear of judgment. It's, it's not going to help you succeed in whatever you know, path you choose in life. And um, you know, if you're good at something, then do it doesn't matter if nobody around you gets it or they don't want you to do it and they they see you doing something else if you're good at something and you enjoy doing it that's part of who you are you're unique in so many ways i mean this look at it i mean your genetics and just the the, the experiences and the perspectives everything that makes you who you are is unique there's not many people like you. And that's really something we're all told to a certain extent. And yet, I see so many people being the same. That want to be the same as other people. That really want to blend in and, and just kind of go with whatever's good so that you don't get noticed. And that, you know, everybody likes you and accepts you for who you are. But that's not who you are. You're just trying to fit in. And it's okay. Like everybody doesn't want to be uh, rejected. Rejection sucks. Especially when you were growing up as a kid. Uh, there was always this sense of pressure to wear what everybody else was wearing. To do what everybody else was doing. To just act like everybody else was acting. Uh, this sense of pressure that's... Um, that I honestly don't believe ever really goes away. Uh, I think that in life, you're not really able to truly be an individual or it's really set up to be hard to do that because you're always in a group environment most of the time. Um, and you're constantly being influenced to some degree by those around you. Uh, if you stay anywhere long enough, you will find yourself, you know, picking up on habits and traits, uh, of those around you or that setting and environment. So, it's very hard to establish yourself and constantly rise up to the challenges that other people might have and the questions and, and just always having to convince yourself and others of what you do and what you like and don't like and everything like that that falls into that category. Um, it can become very draining because there's more people that are doing the same thing than there are people that are doing their own thing. And like I said, as long as it's not harming anybody, uh, as long as you're not causing any pain, emotional, physical to anybody around you and, and you're happy, do that. There's somebody out there that their family wanted them to be a lawyer, a doctor, and they wanted to be a, a painter, a writer. You know, but but inside, that's what they want to do. It's like that's when they feel the most joy. That's when they feel the most confidence. They feel like this is exactly where I need to be. And this is exactly what I need to be doing. But everything else and everyone else is telling them, no, you don't need that. That's, that's stupid. You need to be doing this. And... Especially when we choose careers, it's very difficult these days to just take a risk and do something that isn't guaranteed uh, safety and, and reassurance of, uh, you know, financial wealth or, you know, insurance and security and stuff like that. But, but it's those risks that if you're confident enough and you know yourself well enough and you're ready to take on that challenge of going against the grain then you will find eventually true joy 
and it, it hey don't get it twisted it's very awesome to feel accepted but it, it's also even better to be accepted for who you are for being who you really are being yourself it's so important to disregard what other people think um, to a certain extent you know you know use common sense when you hear that statement it's really important to stop filling your head up with with just assumptions of oh well they'll think that I look goofy as hell if I wear this they'll think that I'm childish if I if tell them that I really enjoy doing this you know there's there's so many scenarios and conversations that are completely made up that you probably have playing in your head that will never take place and even if they do who cares just you don't have to prepare for so many things that aren't really ever going to happen just to feel control like to feel prepared a lot of those thoughts and conversations that you have inside your head when you're thinking um you have to be cautious of the way you talk to yourself um, if you enjoy something and somebody tells you that's stupid and then you start telling yourself in your head yeah they're probably right this is pretty this is pretty stupid you know you start talking in this negative tone towards yourself somebody calls you fat somebody calls you ugly somebody makes fun of you somebody you know all those all those things you take that and then you start doing it to yourself you got to be careful you have to be confident in who you are you have to be confident in what you enjoy because there will be those that just don't understand and there are those that are absolutely envious and jealous of those who are happy with who they are and they will do whatever they can to make sure that they can tear you down and they want you to feel just like they do where they can't be themselves so nobody can be themselves you have to just fit in and do all the stuff that everybody else is doing and if you are uh, if you stand out then that's a no-no so be careful of people and they can be people that you know and that you surround yourself with uh whether by choice or just by circumstance and it's just smart to just be aware of those people uh, to limit interaction and just to be confident be strong and, and stand firm in what you believe and what you enjoy um, because it's one thing to have all this negative talk and thoughts outside of you it's another thing to start bringing that home with you and start talking to yourself in that negative uh, light that's just not healthy it's not going to do you any good um, but you have things that you enjoy. Uh, they may not be the most popular or unique thing compared to you know other people and their interests and hobbies and, and, and whatever. Um, but you need to celebrate that. It's a celebration. When you start to discover when you you know when you're growing up like what you actually do enjoy, not what everybody else does. And hey, who knows, you might like something that a ton of people like, but that really does bring you joy and happiness. And, and then go with that. That's a beautiful thing. You know how cool it is to like Marvel and see how many people enjoy these Marvel movies? You know, you know how awesome it is to enjoy anime and now see how many people are getting into anime. You know, the things that used to be, at least for me, growing up, not the most popular thing, not the coolest thing amongst like the bigger crowd now you start to see how things change how one day something will be cool and popular and the next day it won't but it doesn't matter if you enjoy it then continue to do that until you don't enjoy it anymore until you don't enjoy it anymore don't let other people write this this story that you're living and don't let any other person write the script that you're reading when you're talking to others and when you're talking to yourself it just just celebrate your strengths work on your weaknesses things that you don't like about yourself um, but be sure to be honest with others and yourself and, and express express the things that you truly are passionate about 
disregard any fears of rejection or acceptance. Like just start being who you want to be, who you feel you truly are. And, and, and we're not talking about on a grand scope. We're, we're just talking about even just small little circumstances and, 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 and situations and examples. Just start trying to be yourself as much as you can, uh, as many times as you can. And, and I'm telling you, I'm thinking that there's going to be a really cool result uh, that you'll start to pick up and notice, that you'll start to feel a lot better and you're going to be a lot happier because you're no longer hiding or, or trying to convince yourself not to enjoy something because everybody else says so, you know, that that you shouldn't be who you are because it doesn't line up with what everybody else considers right wrong you know the cool thing the not cool thing you need to disregard that because i'm going to tell you something like something i read that um i'd like to end the episode on is basically every person you come across in life um regardless of you know if they're friends family strangers co-workers classmates whatever whoever every person you meet has a different version of you in their mind like really think about that there are so many people out there that you've interacted with and and people that you've just never you don't even know that you made an impact on their day in some way that they probably just saw you walking down the street you walk by them in Walmart those people have an idea a version of who you are and even the people closest to you that know so much about you they have a version of you in their head that probably doesn't really match up with who you really are there's thousands of versions of yourself because every person that you encounter has a different idea of who you are only you really know who you are and and we do the same thing with other people all the friends and family and people that you know you have a version of them in your mind that's not truly them there are parts of them and, and, and sides of them that you have never witnessed and probably will never witness. Who knows? So it's just take comfort in that. That, yeah, you're the one that's uh, constantly having to go through this experience and you think that everybody has the same impression of you. That's completely false. So, But take confidence in that. Take comfort in that by allowing yourself to just be whoever you are. And if somebody likes it, cool. If somebody doesn't like it, cool. You can just be happy knowing that you aren't holding back and that you're not trying to be fake and hide behind what you think other people will accept and what other people will enjoy and like. You are truly being yourself. And and just know that it doesn't matter what people think. That's one of the biggest things that I've noticed that I've struggled with and I've allowed hold me back from enjoying certain things in life that I think I would enjoy is that I just have feared what other people would think and I know that when you expose yourself and put yourself out there you will be celebrated and criticized and it's just that's the coin there's always going to be two sides of that and with that being said you just need to think about this Do you want to be celebrated for who you're not or do you want to be criticized for who you are? Just think about that and try to be yourself. Thank you for listening to episode 93 of Wonder Soul. I am your host, Spirit Buddha. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember, you can connect with Wonder Soul on social media. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, You can support the podcast by rating and reviewing these uh, episodes and this podcast and sharing these episodes with friends family classmates co-workers whoever you think would find these uh, topics and uh, conversations interesting um, just want to say thank you for everybody who's been listening and supporting make sure to subscribe to the wonder soul youtube channel to start to uh, enjoy reviews and reactions and trailer talks and other youtube exclusive shows from 
Wondersoul. And stay tuned for the rest of the week as we have the Wonder Thrones series finale featuring Shane uh, as we wrap up the Game of Thrones talk. And uh, this Friday we should have a Wonder News episode featuring Mike. So yeah, we're going to try to keep up this uh, this structure and this routine uh, as far as Wonder Soul at the beginning of the week, Wonder Talk in the middle, and Wonder News. And we're going to do a lot of our reviews and stuff on YouTube. So just want to say thank you guys again for your patience and allowing me to adjust and adapt to what works best with my schedule right now and what I got going on in life. And I hope that over time I can get consistency and be able to provide the best content that I can. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys. We are so close to our 100th episode in the one year mark. Can't wait. Uh, gonna have a big celebration when we get to that point in June. But whenever you're listening to this, wherever you're listening to this, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys stay tuned to what Wonder Soul has to offer here in the future. And until the next episode of Wonder Soul, I'm your host, Bearded Buddha. This was episode 93. Be yourself. You guys take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Well, my life is a class, if I was to say. It probably teaches that you can be yourself and an individual if you are comfortable with not everybody liking you or how you think. Uh, if you're comfortable with going against the grain, if you're comfortable with, you know, people making fun or saying really nasty stuff, uh, if you're comfortable with all of that, and you, you can be yourself. It's, that's the price. The price of being yourself is, you know, uh, other people's angst about you being yourself. Um, the other part of the class is that uh, mistakes are okay. And flip out only when you need to, you know. And But then really flip out, you know, go all out. But, you know, make it a choice time when it really means something, you know. And uh, remember, we're all kids at heart. Everybody wants to hear something nice. Just be nice to people. It's not that difficult. That's Whoopi 101, I think. <laughs>